uh, minimal residual disease or MRD is submicroscopic evidence of disease that remains after treatment. So it is a post-therapeutic prognosticator. And it really tells us about the quality of response in acute myeloid leukemia and any other leukemia. In terms of implementing it into the clinic, we must implement MRD into the clinic. Unfortunately, there are lots of challenges that still remain and have prevented us from performing MRD-guided clinical trials, particularly in the adult group. The challenges are twofold. Methodologically, we have much too many methodologies reported in the literature, and they have not been compared with each other. So we need to standardize MRD assessment assays. They are either immunophenotypically done by multi-parameter flow cytometry, or they are done by a PCR, polymerase chain reaction. We want to detect gene mutation aberrations. We want to detect leukemia fusion transcripts. Uh, and we need to use very sensitive assays, potentially next generation sequencing, in order to find small minor clones that are present at diagnosis and may actually lead to outgrowth to relapse later on in a patient's um, course of disease. Okay. So the second challenge that we are facing is therapeutically. Even if we measure minimal residual disease and we detect it, very often we don't have the means, we don't have the drugs to treat it. Uh, unfortunately, many of our intensive therapeutic uh, approaches have not worked in MRD-positive patients, particularly later on in the disease. So we, there is a clear need for developing new approaches in the treatment of MRD.